Today we're gonna show you my new exercise waist training device that is all the, no, I'm just kidding. It's the Vertex Unity Clutch or a tactical uh, man girdle. I mean, women use them too. Before we talk about this, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. I love seeing all the comments and I try to get back to as many of them as I can. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm like at 95%. So I love the comments. I will definitely read them and uh, get back to them for now until it just gets too crazy. So, Vertex, Vertex, yeah, Vertex Unity Clutch. Why am I talking about this? Because this product has been out for a while. Well, this is gonna be kind of part of a three video series on, I guess, different levels of preparedness. 2020 can show you that stuff can pop off at any time. Um, I mean, there's been stuff in churches, there's been obviously civil unrest, and I don't wanna foreshadow, because I don't know when this video is coming out, but there's the possibility that some events could happen that could lead to civil unrest. So for me, this clutch here is about preparedness um, for a lot of different circumstances. So if you're not familiar with what it is, I will, I will model how this works for you. It's basically a, you know, a girdle. It's a man girdle. It goes around your waist and then it goes under your shirt. I could show you that, but that takes extra time. But you have little pockets that you can put stuff in and, and carry more on your person than you would normally. And women um, don't necessarily use these quite as much. I've seen them doing it, but, but women have purses, okay? Dudes, we don't have purses. So for me, this is like, this is my everyday carry setup that I take with me everywhere. Like, what are the essentials that I feel I always need to have on me? So for me, this is a great way of doing it. I used to put stuff in my pockets. Um, there's gonna be a lot of situations where normally I'll have a backpack, but there's certain places that if you bring a backpack in, it's gonna look a little weird. Like, if you bring a backpack into a movie theater, People are gonna wonder what's wrong with you and they're, initially, they're immediately gonna wanna search it and if you saw inside my backpack, that'd be bad. So this is the kind of thing that's gonna keep you low key but prepared. And what I've heard, and I, I, I'll probably butcher it, but it's like, you gotta, you know, if you're gonna be prepared, you need to have things that make holes and things that patch holes. So for me, this right here helps me to stay prepared. So first off, what do I put? in my EDC clutch. I have a few different things in here. Um, on one side, oh, this is pretty cool, because it's got all these different pockets in it, and it has Velcro inside each of the pockets, so I have a holster in here with some Velcro on the back, and this holster is for the Springfield Hellcat RDP that I reviewed a little while ago. So sometimes, like if I'm really going slick, if you will, I don't have a lot of stuff on me, I'm not wearing jeans or, you know, a belt. If I wanna carry a gun, how am I gonna be able to do that? Well, this clutch here goes around your waist and then I can put this into this pocket. I should probably do it with it off, but this is real life, people. This isn't scripted, is it at all, Busy? Not at all. Literally, we just go, hey, what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about this today. And then we sit, and then we do it. So look, so now I've got this gun in here. I got the, the Springfield Hellcat RDP. And if I want to, I can put it under my shirt and you can see the quasi level of concealment that I have attained. So here you go, well, it's windy. I'm printing a little bit there. But you can see that I'm not carrying this around my waist, but I do have a gun on my body right here. I found that drawing from a higher position like this is a little bit awkward. So this is like, this is a very uh, unusual situation. Like if I'm in gym shorts or something, I don't run like this. I have a fanny pack, okay? I'm gonna be honest. When I run, I've got a fanny pack on. My fanny pack got my gun in it. So. I don't run with this. Like, I still feel some of the stuff would jiggle out. So this is more for if I'm just gonna be in basketball shorts or in a super casual situation. So I do have my holster in there, got my Springfield, and then around on this side, I have an extra magazine. Everything's empty right now, but I got a mag in there. So this allows me to carry uh, a handgun with 12, what am I at on this? I think it's 13, no, yes, 13 rounds plus one and another 13 round magazine 
without having any pockets inside the clutch here. Now, my normal setup, I don't normally carry this gun. I like it, just but just because it's small, it's not really my thing. My normal setup is gonna be a 2011. So here is the uh, Alchemy Quantico high cap. So normally I'll carry that appendix. I'll twist this around. And then I take my magazine, I index it properly here. And I have one of those Neo mags. Now normally the Neo mag, um, it's a little clip, it's got a magnet and I'll take it out. And you put your mag in your pocket. But for me, I just, I hate having stuff in my pockets. I don't know if you're like me, but when, when I walk home, when I walk into my house, the first thing I do is I take my wallet, my keys and my phone, which are in my pockets, and I put them somewhere because I hate just having stuff touching my pockets all the time. So the extra stuff that I have is going to be up here. So my magazine is going to be up here. Um, I used to carry my 2011 or my high cap in a sidecar style where it's the, the gun and the magazine, but I like to carry a full-size gun. I'm going to tell you right now, carrying a full-size gun, five inch, like people say full-size, and they're still talking like a Glock 19. Dude, that, a Glock 19 is not a full size. A Glock 17 is a full size. I like carrying full size. It's just what I'm, you know, it's what I've, I've got on me all the time. I don't know why, actually. I have a commander. I've got a four and a quarter, but I just haven't been carrying it. For some reason, I just like the feeling of a full size gun. I like the way it recoils. So I carry a full size gun. I have it in the holster. And then my extra mag is here for if I have a really, really bad day and get to the point where I have to reload. But what do I carry with me every day? So this holster, I don't have the holster because that's just for the Springfield. I have an extra magazine. So I got a 20 round magazine. I have my flashlight. So I always want to have some light. I've got a pocket knife. Now normally I have a pocket knife in my pocket, but I have a second pocket knife because I mean, sometimes you just have to cut extra stuff. So having two knives, not a problem. This here is the Neomag. So basically it's a neodymium, I think is the word, mag magnet. And then the magazine just sticks to it. And I put this inside the first pouch. So I'm good to go there. I have a baggie with some blue rubber gloves because if something happens and there's blood and stuff all over the place, you know, am I just gonna dive in there without putting some gloves on? Maybe, but the reality is, you know, if you look at a, a cop or an EMT, they put gloves on and the protection is sort of for the victim, but it's also for them. So you don't know, like if there's something comes up and some dude is bleeding and they need some help, I don't wanna be like, oh, I really don't wanna get a bloodborne illness. Let me put on, you know, and, and not help them. So that's why you have gloves. Next pack or next pouch, I have a rats style tourniquet. Cause how much would it suck to know that you're you come up on an accident scene? I mean, we're much more likely to come up on some type of a car accident than we are a shooting accident, but still, you know, there's accidents that happen and a tourniquet really can change, make the difference between life and death for a lot of people. So this is the smallest style tourniquet I can I can find and carry. So I've got the rat style tourniquet inside one of the pouches there with me. And then the next pack is a chest seal. So the chest seal, so if you get a puncture from, it's like your belly button up here to the top of your, your chest cavity. If you get a puncture and you, you know, you got a bullet hole going through or like a rod or something, a rod you're probably gonna leave it in, but a bullet hole or, you know, something, piece of shrapnel punctures through you can have negative pressure go into your chest cavity and then it makes it hard to breathe because your lungs have collapsed. So chest seals seal that hole. So when you breathe in, when your diaphragm is actually, you know, moving down to suck air in, it's not sucking air in through that sucking chest wound. It is closed off. It allows air to come out when you exhale. Oh, wait, <sighs> yeah, it allows the pressure to change. So chest seal. Now I don't have one, I have two because when you shoot somebody or if you get shot, the likelihood is it's gonna go in and probably go out as well. So carrying two chest seals is kind of like the bare minimum. So that's what I normally have inside it. Now I'll just show you the little clutch thing here. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
pockets. Now, the sizing on these things was a little bit tough. So I'll just tell you, I'm a 32 inch waist and I got a medium. So what happens is when you put this thing on, you put the little Velcro deal in the middle, boom. There's one pocket up in front here. Where is it? All right, one pocket up in front. This thing's so like thick. I don't really think I'd ever put anything in this pocket. It's really rigid. And I feel like anything that would be in there would print and be super awkward. Um, two of the pockets, the ones on the very sides, they have Velcro on the bottom so that you're able to put whatever you want in, you have it pass through. So for this, this is where my gun goes because then the barrel can stick out of the bottom there. Now here's the thing. This is the trick. If you come around to the back, okay, you're gonna have all this, you know, paracord back here. This is the girdle part, okay? So what you gotta do for your sizing, you get close because, you know, the, the idea is you want this to be tight on your body, but not too tight. So with a small, medium, large, and extra large, I think are the sizes out there, you get close, but then you kind of cinch this bad boy up back here to be at the right size. So what I recommend you do is get, you know, as close to sizing as you can. Don't really worry about it because you can cinch it up on the back, but this thing's super secure. I've actually been wearing it for, gosh, I want to say, I don't know, two months now. Yeah, I've had it for two months. I go all kinds of places with it, and I just feel better knowing that wherever I am, I've got extra ammo for sure, but I, I have life-saving tools um, that, uh, that could help out in a situation, because normally, I, I mean, I always have them in my car, but that's too far. You're gonna need a tourniquet very quickly because people can bleed out very fast. So. These are like 70 bucks retail. I don't know what the street price is. I paid for it and I think I paid 70 bucks, but I did see them for like 50 or 60, I don't know. So it, they're, they're kind of hard to find. I know that there's some other companies that make them. Um, there's a lot of different versions of it. This one really, I just bought it because it's the one that I could find in stock. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know about the other, the other companies that uh, and what they've got available, but Vertex Unity Clutch, this is, my EDC man girdle setup. So, I don't know, if Vertex is watching this, and they probably aren't. I'm sorry I keep calling it like a man girdle, but I, I really don't know how else to explain it. But this is something that if you're a dude or a lady who doesn't want to carry a purse, and also women too, uh, this is gonna be kind of a, 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 an off topic, but women have this idea. I've heard a lot of like, I'm gonna carry in my purse. I do not advocate off body carry. So. If you can't carry appendix, if you can't carry on your body, this is a very good way, especially for women, depending on your physiology, like how you're shaped. But for women, women are actually able to um, conceal more in one of these things, just because they're typically a little bit wider up top. I'm trying to talk about anatomy here without being, you know, obscene about it, but just the way things are, you're able to conceal more stuff. So if you're a dude or a lady, I'd recommend having one of these because having more stuff on you is better at all times. So that's that's part one. This is like my, my bare minimum. Uh, next video, we will cover like the next level up of what I have in preparedness. So peace. Thanks for watching.